I think perhaps one of the best parts about being in the great city of Ashland is our location. We're halfway between Cleveland and Columbus. You can travel less than an hour in any direction and you can meet with all of those big city amenities that so many of us desire. Number one, we're a safe community. If you Google Ashland, Ohio, you'll find that our crime statistics are about 75% lower than anywhere else in the country. Ashland County is full of history. In fact, my father, Peter Gongler, Ashland native, was named after a famous Ashland racehorse, Peter at Law. Great success through the 30s running the tracks around Ohio. In fact, the Ashland County Fairgrounds, when they went to dedicate the current racetrack back in 1939, the highlight of that ceremony was Peter at Law racing against his son, Peter at Last. Local legend has it that Peter at Law is buried on the fairgrounds, close to where the Buckeye Barn sits today. So it is pretty cool working for Herring Realty. They were founded in 1983 in the Mansfield market. I grew up a little bit in Ashland, going to Brookside Park, going to the swimming pool there. And Herring Realty is glad to be a part of the growth of Ashland, having an office there on Claremont now, and seeing all of the great things that are occurring in the downtown area, the neighborhoods that are expanding, the new construction. Really glad to be a part of the growth of Ashland. Here at the Salvation Army Ray and Joan Crock Center in Ashland, we do so many things. We have social services, we provide for the needs of Ashland County, and we also have wonderful recreation programs, so indoor soccer, basketball, volleyball, self-defense, skating, laser tag, you name it. We also have wonderful educational programming so people can learn about music and the arts, can come here for preschool, before and after care, day camp. And then, of course, we have the new indoor fitness center and the water park, fully equipped so every age group can enjoy it fully. And we're really excited, too, because next summer we're also going to be adding an outdoor splash pad in addition to all of our other amenities for people to come and enjoy. There are two kinds of people, those that drink coffee and those that are going to. Goldberry Roasting Company started about 12 years ago. The premise was originally to roast coffee from places all over the world to help coffee farmers. Goldberry starting in Ashland was a pretty natural decision. I am seventh generation Ashlander, so it's home. Uh, my son Pete is eighth generation, his kids are ninth generation, and these are my people. We're a very strong faith community. Believe it or not, in our relatively small county, we have over 104 different churches. In the past two years, we have actually added more than 500 additional living units to our community. And those are men and women and families that are wanting to be here because of the wonderful culture that exists in the Ashland community. Coming to Ashland and seeing Ashland and the city, the country, the surrounding county areas, there's so many different options for ways of living and types of housing. And compared to the other places and cities I've lived, the cost of living is incomparable. It gives you the opportunity to do more things as a family and enjoy more amenities, whether it's here in Ashland or in surrounding communities or even the cities that are nearby. Back in the day when I was young, even when, when my kids were going to college, a lot of kids left. Well, they're starting to come back. They're starting to you know, start more businesses that are that are current and, and more boutique and more artisan and uh, it's drawing people in. We have a very diverse economic base. You will see that we have so many different manufacturing facilities and businesses doing so many very different things. We're not reliant on any particular industry for our local economy. In fact, today if you travel downtown Ashland, you will find that there are no empty storefronts, there are no buildings available for development because they're all occupied. We've added new restaurants, new gift boutiques, new professional offices, so that it matches the modern scene that so many of us are familiar with as we visited much larger metropolitan areas. We've watched, even in the three and a half years we've been here, parts of downtown be transformed. Um, Brookside Park have wonderful renovations, being able to be part of that. We'd love to have you come and visit Ashland. You should come and give it a try, check it out, and of course, stop by and see us at the Ashland Croc Center. We're in the process of renovating our historic Shines Theater, and soon it will be able to be used not only for movies, but also various music acts, comedians, maybe do poetry readings and so on. And so that will certainly add 
to our arts culture in downtown Ashland. And of course my wife and I take our children to the root beer stand there and get a couple of conies and a nice cold glass of root beer. Just a phenomenal amount of restaurants and activities to do in Ashland. So we're very fortunate to have wonderful educational opportunities all around us, whether that be the university, Ashen University, or whether that be our own school system. Our own school system has built new facilities for our children to learn in. And then of course, we're very blessed to have a wonderful career center where every day they are adapting their curriculum and their offerings to meet the needs of our local employers. All of those really good conditions, people not wanting to live in the city, wanting good, great education, great safety. Uh, it's just kind of this nice hub of all those good factors and that's why we love being here. I sincerely want to invite you to visit Ashland, give us a, a whirl and uh, see, how, see how good we all have it here. Over the past several years we've made every effort to breathe new life into our city and when we attend these events, whether it be our annual Christmas tree lighting or our St. Patrick's Day activities or even our summer events in our park system, the comment that I often hear is, there's such a spirit of joy in the air. It really doesn't get any better than this. Peaceful, kind, all that we need, just a minute or two away, Ashen's a pretty special place to call home.